Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Softcore Brony, welcoming you back to Let's Play My Little Pony Fantasy 6. Last time, Discord showed up with a small army in hopes of uh, taking back the Esper and probably killing everyone along the way too. Not if we have anything to say about it. Anyway, one thing I forgot to mention last time regarding uh, Trixie, I was informed by uh, Quick Fix that uh, her unicorn ability there uh, actually absorbs a bit more than the Runic Blade did in the previous game. Uh, basically, it abs uh, I can't really say how many more monster abilities it does since I haven't had time to check, but at this point, as far as uh, magic spells that characters can learn, she now absorbs everything except for Life 3, Quick, Quake, and Wall. So yeah, apparently even Ultima. That's crazy. So let's get defending, our, shall we? We're prepared. We're going to do this. Oh, hey, Scoot, it's you again. No, of course not. We're good. So yeah, like I said, we're going to be forming three parties based on our seven uh, party members here. And uh, one thing I really wanted to do, <laughs> I was hoping to get Luna to level 15 by the end of this. It's not looking very likely, though. She's probably, I highly doubt it. But I'm going to try anyway, so... She and Celestia are going to be doing the most fighting here in our uh, parties. So, alrighty, this is how I want to uh, break us up here. Basically, uh, I'm going to have Luna and Tia here fighting as much as I can. Twy and AJ probably won't fight anything. And uh, this party over here, who are eventually going to fight uh, Discord, are going to be fighting as little as possible. So, normally I wouldn't recommend this, but uh, for my purposes, this works. Yeah, since uh, Luna is going to be fighting everything, uh, which is uh, weird, but oh well. Anyway. Yeah, okay. I can deal with this. Bring it, Discord! Alright. He's got a lot of them there, doesn't he? Well, anyway, it's not like we have to deal with any annoying spells this time, like the with the uh, Vamamiths la like last time. So, alrighty, pulling you guys down here. Oh, I should have. Uh, anyway, they're just gonna be sitting here, and uh, just in case you want to know, I've got uh, AJ set up to, uh, you know, counterattack with just the Wakazashi there, no shield. Uh, yeah, it's not really that important for them. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. The, about the volume there, so, <laughs> whoops, anyway, I was uh, messing with something in between scenes there, so, alrighty, and this party is just going to be chilling over here, and I should have, uh, oh well, well, so here's how we're set up, uh, I would have been kind of nice if Tia could have had the black belt too, but unfortunately she can't equip it since she's a magic character, I don't remember if I ever said that before, so, alright, uh-oh, I better go say Bloom over there. Alright, this is simple. Ow. Yeah, these guys are pretty simple. The only thing bad about them is that they may uh, counterattack anything we do. Which is partly why I have Tia with the, the you know, healing band there, because uh, she doesn't have any shields, so she's going to be taking a lot more damage than Luna. This is essentially how we're going to be taking down pretty much everything here, so... Oh, and there's that 25% uh, chance there that we never saw the last time. And hey, Tia gained a level, Luna gained a level. All right, we're already doing better. All right. Say Bloom! Say Bloom! Not like Bloom can't handle herself. <sighs> Pincer attack, aye. This might not work so well. Oh, here's some new ones, something new. Uh, that doesn't really matter, though. Well, Tia hasn't had to heal yet, but I don't know. At this rate, pretty soon, possibly. If not, Luna's got some, uh, you know, it can defend her for a moment, so. You know, with the Knight's Oath and all. Alright, so those guys weren't a big deal. 
I don't know. The right things are going. Might get to see Bloom's party fight yet. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Hey, what the heck? I've coincidentally had to do battle, uh, healing in battle, by the way. Oh. I didn't think I was going to meet that guy till later. Okay, well, that heavy armor's there. It's weak against electricity. Oh, by the way, the troopers and, and all have been weak against uh, poison, so... Well, except for that dog. I don't think it has a weakness. Aye! Oh, never mind. Cool. Oh, it has a red shadow. That's kind of creepy looking. It's like blood. It's like it's standing on it or something. Wow. Okay, I gotta stop you guys first, because there's no protection there on the side. Oh, there's a new guy. Another new one. Again, I don't... Ow! Jerk. Again, I don't think it has a particular weakness, but I could be wrong. Either way, I don't care, because we can one-shot it anyway. Man, this is hazardous. Alrighty. Yeah, I think I'll have to let that guy go. As you can probably tell, normally we'd uh, have our parties covering more ground. I'm getting so many back and pincer attacks. Oh, here we go. As that last clip said, I kind of messed up back there. But this is fine because now I get to get more experience for Luna. Because I totally rescued Bloom this time. I still had to do this more than once though. Because I forgot to turn the freaking microphone on. Ugh. When I started this one last time. So forgive me if I don't sound quite as surprised this time. <laughs> Alrighty. Check that out. I've never seen them sitting down there waiting before. Kind of cool actually. All right, and that's the last of them, except for those two, uh, a little mini-boss, and then Discord. So, uh, interestingly enough, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> interestingly enough, wrong button, uh, I actually came right to my goal. I can totally get that within the, uh, uh pretty darn soon, so, in the meantime, we say stuff if we talk to each other, depending on who's in the lead, so... How's about we check this out real quick, shall we? And then Luna. Alright, and then... Alright, and then AJ. Aww, that's really awesome, AJ. And... What are you saying there, Sally? Anyway... Yeah, I got Bloom here. Huh. <laughs> By the way, what does the mayor say, anyway? Well, aren't you self-important? Jeez! Alright, next... We got Trixie! The great and powerful Trixie! And last but certainly not least... Pinkie Pie! Or not, or I could just totally be looking at the wrong character. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> okay, now, Pinkie Pie! Ha! <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, so, now that that craziness is over, uh, here's what, uh, here's me pressing wrong buttons again. God dang. Okay, so here's what we were equipped with that, for that uh, previous bout. Uh, basically, you could use Bloom's Bio Blaster, or even, uh, was it Noise Blaster, or preferably Steel for anything. Trixie's basically going to defend herself, and Pinkie Pie's going to use Marshall or even Trillium, if you, depending on what you have. So, uh, that's what I did have. And then... Here... is my, uh, preferred status for this upcoming fight. So, continuing... Let's do this against the mini boss, Ryder! And for this fight, we just uh, actually, I don't want to do that. I want to steal first. Darn it. Ow, that hurt. 
Alright, and then we're just gonna wait for Bloom's turn, because he has something very important to steal. Yikes, good thing I had her defend. Really, Bloom? Come on, speed it up. Mithril Vest! And afterwards, we're just gonna use Commander, because this guy happens to be weak against Petrify! Of course, a good, well-placed stray cat would finish him off, too, but I figured I'd do it this way. Anyway, interesting thing about this fight, uh, if you lose, you will not, actually, if you lose to any of the fights here, you will not get a game over, you'll just be sent back up to the mayor. Uh, interesting thing with that fight is that you can steal the Mithril Vest, lose, come back, and steal more Mithril Vests, and basically farm them. Now, what I want to do with this Mithril Vest is I'm going to give it to Trixie. Alright. And I'm actually going to save, save state real quick. And then I'm going to actually remember to put Pinky in the front row. Very important. And then I'm going to fight Discord. Alright, so for this fight... Ow. We want Bloom to steal. And Pinky is going to use Primordite. Because Discord is affected by Stop. And now that he's stopped, he's not going to do anything for pretty much the rest of the battle. And I still couldn't steal, and we're just going to wail on him from here on out, and hopefully Bloom will steal eventually. And he doesn't have any particular weaknesses, by the way. So, uh, just hit him with it, whatever you got. Especially if it has to be Stray Cat, we got a Brony Cola, alright. And he's not going to last for long. Uh, strongest thing you can do here is Auto Crossbow with Bloom. Well, it doesn't matter. This should finish him off. I'll be back. Alright. Well, that's cool. However, what happens if you don't have Primordite? Or, you know, what have you. And, uh, I just did it again, but oh well. Anyway, we want to use Unicorn, and I'm going to put her in the proper row. Whoopsie. Sorry about that. Because uh, in this variant, he's... Oh, wow. I was a little stronger than I was uh, expecting. Yikes. Yeah, he has some pretty powerful magic, and we're just going to have... Uh, Trixie on standby to use Unicorn whenever necessary, because he could pretty much kill us with any of those. Otherwise, the strategy is basically the same. Uh, just Stray Cat and Auto Crossbow and have Trixie around, definitely, to absorb any spells. And that's why I've got her equipped with, uh... What is it? The... Ah, oh, it's totally slipping my mind. Former Running Shoes, whatever they're called now. So, yeah, this is the fight. Still, uh, it's pretty much finished him off, uh... Use magic, you jerk! Trixie is not amused! Well, this should finish him off. Alright, bye-bye, Discord. Yeah, we know, you, were, you already came back. And he runs away. And we also get this relatively useless Harmony Band that I'll probably never equip. I won't either. Our victory, that is. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa, and he disappears, just like, you know, you'd think Discord might. Wow. Is it okay? Let's find out. Where did they put the Esper? Oh, it's on that mountain that we started at at the very, very, very beginning of the game. What do you know? That's convenient. I know, I know. It's just, it just was a place to put them, you know? Uh, whatever. So ironic, Luna. So ironic. It's like Celestia knew. <laughs> Does Luna have some kind of repressed memory there that you know about Celestia? Hey, Twy, what's the matter? Bloom, don't go try jumping off cliffs there. That's dangerous. What, is it because we're staring at you? 
She doesn't like it when ponies stare at her. I'm sorry, but AJ looks kind of funny like that. I can't get over how that that her dead sprite there. Focus, Twilight! Don't give in! Don't look into the light! Uh-oh. Not this again. You may experience a slight tingling feeling. Oh man, Twy, what's this? Your Twilight Sparkle! What more do you need to know? Twy! Yeah, thanks for stating the obvious, Trixie. How exactly is that? Just because... Well, that would be spoiling. Never mind. Wait, is it spoiling yet? Uh, whatever. I won't say. Step away from the supervillain! I don't remember where that's from. I swear I've heard it somewhere before, though. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. What can it do this time? She doesn't have Magitek armor. Oh. You know, thinking back, I really shouldn't have been surp as surprised about that as I was the first time I saw it. Ow! That hurts at this volume. Dang. Twy? Twy, you coming back? I guess not. You know, even though I know it's because he, they didn't make a particular sprite for it, I kind of like how this is a sort of first-person point of view. But where did Twilight go? I guess we'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play My Little Pony Fantasy VI. Arrivederci!